Greetings, welcome to RuralVacantLand.com where we have easy, cheap land. Today I'd like to show you some land in California. Um, if we zoom in here, let's go down. If we zoom in California, this one I want to show you is in Northern California. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's turn on the map. So here's San Francisco, here's Redding, Medford, Oregon, Reno, Nevada. So we zoom in on this one. Here's Eureka. Myers Flat, Miranda, Garberville, Whitehorn, Shelter Cove. So there's a little road here that comes off the 101, comes out to Shelter Cove. This is a big nature area. You know, some fir trees and just, just wild, right? And then you got this neighborhood in the middle. So Shelter Cove Road comes over the mountains, weaves and winds back through here. This property is in the back side of Shelter Cove with big views of the ocean. Um, I think this front side here has the uh, water and sewer and the back side doesn't from my understanding. And so you'd have to, you'd have to figure out your own um, sewer like septic system. Let's turn it back to satellite. It's your Telegraph Canyon. And here's the property. A couple neighboring houses in the area. Trees all over the place. It's about a third of an acre. I'm asking $4,999. If you want this one, you can just click the buy now, fill out your information, and you can start working on the property. You own it the same day. Um, so here is... Uh, Horseshoe Court, I guess it's called. Looks like there's a house in the bend. House is up in the hills. And, um, yeah, I wanted to look, you know, see if we can see what the neighborhood looks like. So, here's the, uh, here's the hillside. I kind of wanted to be up here. I think you can see out, you know, this would be your drive into the property, down the hill a little bit to the property, but here's the views. This is what we're looking at. We're looking off over some trees and out through a bend in, in the hills to the ocean. That's the Pacific Ocean. As you come down Telegraph Court, there's some trees and, you know, just gorgeous views in all different directions, different houses spotting the hills. Horseshoe Court, um, Telegraph Creek, there's a sign there. I think there's a house up up on the hill there. Um, so if we go down Horseshoe Court, maybe we look back, we can see that house. Yeah, there's a house up on the hill. You can see how this comes bending around. You can see the kind of quality of the roads. They're paved and just beautiful trees. It's still ocean, ocean, ocean views as you're driving through this neighborhood. As we go through the neighborhood, it looks like there's a neighbor here. Got an RV, truck, some other supplies. Let me go back one. That might be a yurt or a greenhouse of some kind. House looks like it's on the hill. You know, built a parking spot in here. Looks like maybe they're building a garage. In May 2012, by the time you go out there, hopefully the garage is built. nice flowers blue flowers and white flowers this is in May and it's May right now so this time of year is probably the same kind of plant life going on probably got flowers or some of those wild rose bushes you're still looking at the ocean as we're going down Horseshoe Court might be able to see that house we just passed maybe maybe not they're up on the hill some of these hills are kind of steep they build on these steep hills And as we get down towards the end of the prop, end of the street, I think you can still see the ocean down there. Maybe a little bit of midnight pruning, cut some bushes down, you can see it even better. Um, there's some more ocean out there, like that tree could be turned into firewood maybe. Um, 
this would be where the property is so you can drive right up to the property and there's a bunch of land in there just go build on the hill and you got a view you get a view over these trees at the ocean so you can see the ocean through the crack out there you're not really going to have any neighbors looking in at you I mean you can see some way off on the distances but they're in the area but with these hills you're all kind of hidden in there so maybe you could have like a walkout basement or a garage underneath the house going up into the house something like that and uh, use that hill we'll put it to work and that's the property so if we zoom out of here I'm gonna get lost a little bit oh yeah okay so we're down here this is being weird so we're down here and the property goes off this way so we're on the street looking at the hill and you put the house over in here and then from there you're looking out at the ocean down to the south and so the other thing that this has is you know you got little roads you can go a couple different ways out this way down there's a general store drop down shelter cove if you follow this down, um, what was I going to show you? It comes around, and there's an airport, uh, but there's also uh, like amenities. And if we go down, down this uh, to this road, you can see there's a boat launch here. There's people launching boat into the ocean. There's like a rock barrier that sticks out in the ocean to break the waves and see the waves are coming around and going over here so it's leaving it nice and calm that's the shelter there's the shelter I mean this is the natural shelter then they've got a man-made shelter on top of that um, they've also got this uh, you know RV resort over here so if you're coming to town and building your place for some reason my internet's going really slow but you can see they've got RV hookup, you know, you can camp out here, RV park and campground. So they've got supplies to set up here and live here while you build your property and while you're working on it and making it happen. There's also a little motel here um, that's by the cove, and this is supposed to be some really good fishing areas. Um, you got a whole bunch of boats parked around here you know a good place to park your boat you have to pay something I'm guessing I'm not sure and uh, here's some cars parked and trailers and if you go do the street view drive around the neighborhood or actually go drive there would be even better go drive around the neighborhood I mean all these streets have boats on them people are parking their boats off the side of the street in their driveway and all kinds of different places I think this is a lot of fishermen in the area that like to come down here and go fishing couldn't imagine catching some nice rockfish and some uh, you know lingcod probably lingcod haven up here um, halibut it's probably halibut all over the place they go offshore and get all kinds of things but uh, you know abalone it's probably good abalone diving and just beautiful coast here as you go north I think there's a beach up here there's a cafe it's a place to sleep yeah, here we go. So if we go down here, you can see the beach. I wish the street view would come up. I can take you on some of these streets. I don't know why it's taking so slow. Going so slow. One of the other things I wanted to show you, I'll try to come back to this, is uh, the lot lines. So here's the lot lines. You know, here's the, uh, um, you know, the court. And you got a big section of land up along the street. So right at the base of that corner and back some um, going in it's a big chunk of land there that you can use and uh, that's the horseshoe bend court I was looking at uh, land watch and some of these other ones on the same street are for sale um, so I was looking at that mine's you know four thousand nine 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 and then land century I saw had one I think this was a, this was up the street a little bit for seventy five hundred, but for eight grand, um, it might be this other one. Let's see. Yeah, so this is the one that I've got for sale. It's right here, and these guys got one across the street for sale. Um, they're asking eight grand. 
you know, it's an extra three grand on top of what mine is. And then I think this one here, is that the same one? I think it's the same one. They're the same thing, same price. Um, yeah, they just got the same one listed a couple times. So, you know, eight grand across the street, got the same property. There it is again. They lift it, listed a bunch of times. And then the prices jump up from there. This is the cheapest land in the county. I didn't sort by size or anything. I just did Humboldt County price low to high. This is, I don't know what this is. They don't tell you the price or anything. This is just a ridiculous ad. But then mine's the cheapest, the cheapest land out there. Um, so this is the cheapest property, Humboldt County. You can drive up with ocean view access. Um, how much better does it get? You just got to figure everything else out from there and go make it your own. I looked around the area. There's also uh, elk in the area. I mean, I don't think they're very popular, but you know they've been seen. This guy's taken some pictures. That's pretty cool. There's deer. Uh, there's just a lot of wildlife, neat plants, and um, neat place to be. There's a website about Shelter Cove. If you Google Shelter Cove, um, they give you all the... Uh, the building codes and restrictions and stuff of what you can build and can't build and you know growing marijuana they want you to live on the property before you grow marijuana they don't want you to grow marijuana without living there um, and uh, you know just basics like that you can go research it and uh, figure it out for this price um, it's do it yourself so thanks for listening thanks for watching Luke Smith Rural Vacant Land